Lots of Blu-ray, DVD, and CD players are given up as hopelessly broken when these few troubleshooting tips can often bring them back to life. Hi, I'm Peter Mui, founder of Fix-It Clinic, a community repair workshop where we teach people how to disassemble, troubleshoot, and repair their broken consumer electronics and household appliances. Blu-ray, DVD, and CD players are all devices that use optical drives. An optical drive is a device that reads discs and is composed of a spindle motor that spins the disc and a laser assembly that moves along a track while reading the disc. When you're dealing with an optical drive that's not working, here are some steps to take to troubleshoot the issue. First and foremost, make sure your drive can read the disc you're using to test it with. We've seen people play an MP3 formatted disc in a standard audio disc player or a Blu-ray disc in a standard DVD player. That won't work. People also try to read discs that are badly scratched and think that the drive's not working. So make sure to test the player with a disc that you know is good and of the proper format. Once you've verified that the optical drive can play the media you're using, check that the motor spindle is actually spinning the disc. Insert the disc with the label in an orientation that you know and see if it spins when you close the lid or insert the tray. If you open it again and the disc is spinning, or you at least see that it's in a different orientation each time you open and close it, that's a good sign that the motor itself is working. The next thing to try is cleaning the lens. Use a Q-tip and some 91% isopropyl alcohol from the drugstore to remove any debris or fingerprints that may have gotten on the lens, preventing it from working correctly. Lastly, if cleaning the lens with a Q-tip doesn't work, this next trick works the vast majority of the time. Get a plastic spudger and nudge the laser assembly in its track. Don't force it too hard, but just give it enough of a nudge to move it about one third of the length of the track. That seems to unstick the laser guide assembly and allows it to reset so it can read the disc from the inside out as it's intended. If you tried this repair, whether you were successful or not, please tell us about your experience by clicking on the link in the description below. And we hope to see your smiling face at an upcoming Fix-It Clinic.